three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise. The Artemis One mission blasted off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida in just the last 15 minutes. The launch is a big step toward putting astronauts back on the moon for the first time in 50 years. So we've already seen kind of a lot of delays with this one, right, Paul? Right. This has been something that's been years in the making. It's been delayed four times already due to weather, due to fuel leaks at a cost of $4 billion. The rocket is considered to be the power, most powerful the U.S. has ever built. And it's come a long way since NASA's earliest designs, which were less than successful, a lot of those going up in smoke. That's why we've been seeing NASA postpone the Artemis One launches as a precaution. Yeah, I mean, we're creating a thrust through a chemical reaction, and it is something that can definitely go wrong. The last manned mission to the moon was Apollo 17 50 years ago in December of 1972. The Orion capsule will return to Earth with a splashdown in the Pacific next month. NASA hopes to send four astronauts around, but not onto, the moon in the next flight in 2024. No human crew traveling on board this time around, but the Orion spacecraft is carrying about 120 pounds worth of mementos. Three test dummies, mm -hmm. important to know how humans are going to react to this. A Snoopy plushie for fun and an Amazon <laughs> Alexa. This tradition of bringing items into space began back in the 1960s. Yes, we like to clutter wherever we go, don't we, as human we beings? We really do. Yeah. yeah. All right, Paul, thank you. Vern?